Hi, today we are going to make our own mica spray. And so what I have in front of me here is I have um, a cup with some water in it. And then I have some cheap hairspray from the Dollar Tree. And most of this can be made with items from the Dollar Tree. I have a set of spray bottles here. I only need one for this project. Scissors. I have a little stir type stick. I have a glass bead, and then I have a package of this um, LA Colors Loose Eyeshadow, and it's um, shimmer, and the color I'm using today is sunshine because I wanted to make some gold spray. So, I am not going to be adding any paint to this, we're just going to use this. Um, and I'm not familiar with how these guys open up. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we could use this brush. We could probably scoop some out. I don't know how much we would get from there. But the other thing that you can do is take off from the bottom. So the first thing we want to do, what I understand is that, um, we want to cut... The little spray attachment hose so that it doesn't touch the bottom because if it touches the bottom it gets um, all gunked up with the mica powder so we want to cut this off and then make sure it's open enough just double check that make sure it doesn't touch the bottom and it doesn't the other thing I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm going to stick this down into my cup of water and just make sure it sprays. Okay, it works. Sometimes they don't work and then you go to all this effort and it isn't, you know, what you want. So, all right. So now it's just adding these elements together. So I'm going to put the bean in first. Then we're going to see how much of this we can scoop out with the brush. I don't know, can I just dump this? Will that? You know, the other thing I could do is dump this onto a piece of cardstock. Let's see how much we can get out. Because this would make it a whole bunch easier dump it. So, I really don't know how much we want, but we'll just get it in there. I'm guessing some more. I honestly don't know. I've seen others make it and use it. They did like three generous scoops. So I'm guessing this might be similar. Of course, I'm getting gold flake everywhere. All right, I'm going to close this up and call that good. Ooh, what a horrible noise. All right, now I'm going to open up my hairspray and pour some of that in there. Now what the hairspray does is it allows it to stick. So I think what we want is about one part hairspray and one part water. Now I'm not making a full, full jar here, obviously. I don't know. That might be enough water. We'll see. I can always add more. Alright, and I didn't end up needing my stir stick because I just, you know, did the cardboard dumping method. So the next thing is that you can see that this is starting to float in here, and that's nice. But we do want to mix it up 
And what I understand is that when you go to mix anything like this that has mica in it, that has a bead in it, you don't want to shake up and down because that can clog your spray hose. So what you want to do is circle it around like that. That looks, you know, pretty golden to me. So I'm going to have to give this a spray. Let's look at the bottom and see how much we've got mixed in. Yeah, we've got a got it all mixed up. All right, so I am going to take a dark piece of paper here, and I am going to move over to my spray box, which is off camera. So let me see if I can even get that in here with all of this stuff. some stuff out of the way here. Throwing in my spray box. Trying not to spill my water. Okay, here we are. Okay, so stirring that up good. Caps off. So now we're just gonna mist this and see how it does. So I think I think we're getting some shine. Can't tell if it's just wet or if shine. So we're gonna have to dry that and see. It smells really good from the hairspray though. Let me bring in my heat gun here. And let's see if we need some more of the eyeshadow in there. It is really fine, and that's probably due to the spray. But also, got it now. Can you? I think I can get it. I'm moving my light around here a little bit. I think you can see it in the camera. Looks like, yeah, there we go. And let me just see. Does it rub off? Well, I have glitter on my hand, so I can't really tell, but. It doesn't look like it's coming off. So that is a really nice, subtle, very subtle spray of gold. Almost snow-like, very glittery, very pretty. I think I might add just a little bit more mica, but other than that, I would call that good. Okay, so I added just another little amount of the shimmer powder into my bottle. I didn't add any more liquid or hairspray. And you can see that that is pretty rich looking. I could make, of course, a whole bottle of this. A little bit goes a long way. I don't know if, I think you can tell here is my new spray area with adding just a little bit more into it and I I know you're seeing some of it on camera but it is really shiny sparkly I would say sparkly in person now if you wanted to do this in a different color so you know I use the gold to make the gold and then they also have this LA color here that is called Snow White. I don't know if that code will help you out at all or not, but um, what I understand is that you can take the Snow White, and of course you could make a white or a silvery type shimmer, but if you wanted to make colored shimmer, you could add um, some like clear food coloring, you know, color food coloring that's kind of transparent. Um, you could probably 
do some acrylic paint. Um, but, you know, give it a try. And like I said, this is a dollar. And, um, you know, we bought the hairspray for this. So that was a dollar. We already had that. And water. Um, so, and then, of course, you need some spray bottles. And I picked, this was a package of two. And I don't remember where I got them. If they were at the Dollar Tree or if I got them at a craft store. But anyway, um, you're going to want... To get some spray bottles and they do sell them at the Dollar Tree but they come with other bottles so um, I'm sure you can find a use for those other travel bottles and use your spray bottles down here so um, yeah this really neat technique for something that costs a whole heck of a lot more in the store I don't even know the standard pricing for something like this um, I'll take a look and see if I can find some shimmer spray and see see what it costs but yeah I like this hack a lot and it, and it did work so I give it a thumbs up and um, the results are great <laughs>